if you uh, installed Kelly Slater's uh, Pro on, because I know you can't get it on the new uh, Macs, um, or even on the yeah the new Macs, um, because it's not G4 as pro G4 processor, but Intel. So you got to put it on boot camp, uh, but this is the same the same process works for if you have. Uh, a PC that uses an HDMI cable, but to make the game compatible, uh, you go to compatibility and you go to the all users, and you run it in the XP Service Pack Three. You leave that like that. If you don't have this, if you have a normal Windows Seven, then you click uh, disable themes, uh, desktop. You disable all those. But um, if you install the, the breed Alienware theme, you don't need to do that. You just leave those like that. Leave it like that. Run as administrator and all that. And then you go into uh, the breed theme. This, uh, the Stardock thing. Uh, Alien GUI. And go to settings. And then you add the program. Uh, in there, the game in there. So there we go. You have that. And um, so in order to get, because it's an old game, so uh, that's why you need to have that. Then you also, in order to make it be played through HDMI, because this is an HDMI TV I'm using as a monitor. You go to screen resolution. And uh, you leave everything like that. You go to advanced settings. And you go to monitor, and you have it, and you choose to put it on sixty hertz. If you if you if you don't have it uh, on sixty hertz, you'll get an error saying that uh, the graphic device cannot be initiated, something like that. So that will prevent from having a, a, a crash error on when you load the game. So now when you load the game, you just load it and click yes. And you can see it's in the classic um, style. That's because I've, I used I, I used the uh, the alien guys to make it, the program run it classic. And you just click play, and then it's basically and you just exit the uh, uh, movies, and now you're in the game. And just play. So you just want to just do like that. And you stick your character. And you get the board. I like this map phone this, this, this one here. And then you just play it. Say so you see this was done on boot camp. Um, I noticed with the Mac, I 
I notice with the muck, mm -hmm. I think that's crushed. Okay, that's kind of like... I wonder if the screen jumped out. There we go. It's just... Dashed in my cable went out. So, uh, close that. So if you go on the, on the PC... Um... So I'll start the PC up. You do the same thing uh, with the with the PC. Um, you can find the control. And I need to boot into Windows with this. Oh, wrong keyboard. Oh, I've used the other keyboard. I've got like three stops at the game. Go into Windows. And then you you do the same thing. Um, personalize no 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 uh, screen resolution, advanced properties, monitor, and you have it set to sixty hertz like that. Um, that's if you're using a TV through the HDMI port. However, if you don't do that, the, the game won't work. Um, let's just try it without the um, see what happens. I think it was on the... Uh, they have it on 60 hertz. But because it's a, a, a PC and not a Mac and it has a different as a NVIDIA card, it doesn't actually display the game uh, in the uh, full screen. <coughs> Just plays it like in a square. Most uh, boats that are used for. So it plays it like that, it's not really.
shot is a better than this one. Fix the wrong button. 